And so, I'm back now. Again, sorry. But, so I was at the point of getting irritated with Subaru because, yeah, they don't, you know, they don't go through their cylinder heads or anything. They don't, you know, take those cam plates off. They don't, you know, reseal them, check the valves, do a valve adjustment. You know, none of that. You know, like I said, they just basically pop that stuff on. And, and what we do, like I said, is, you know, we go through that whole thing. We, we put our, we bring our cylinder, send our cylinder heads out, have them milled, you know, bring them back, clean up the, you know, clean up the cam plates, reseal this with, you know, Fuji Bond or, or, um, Ultra Black, the, uh, the right stuff by Permatex. That stuff is really good. That's used on OEM production lines. Um, yeah, if I don't have that stuff or if I, uh, before I'm kind of really busy and I don't, uh, and people are pulling me away from my work here and there, then I'll just use the, the, um, just the regular Permatex Ultra Black because it takes a little bit for that stuff to cure. The, the Permatex, the right stuff, it takes like, you know, it, it cures that stuff like in like five minutes. It's already getting, it's already getting hard. So, um, not hard, but it's all, you know, it's already getting really coagulated or whatever you want to call it, setting up, curing. But, um, so, you know, we seal it with that. You know, we always do that valve adjustments and you know, get, get that thing to where it's running mint. We always replace the cam seals on the front, both sides, on the front, two front cam seals, and the, on the back there's a camshaft plug. And you should pop those back in if they're, you know, if they're old, because they're kind of hardened, they're a little bit brittle. You can reuse them if you're in a pinch. You can just take some, you know, like that ultra black or the right stuff and just swipe a, a really fine coat of that around those cam plugs. And I've done that before and I haven't any issues, but I really like to do everything the right way. So, um, so we just replace them. So replace all those. Oh, I'm going back to the, going back to the cylinder heads. Subarus are a little bit unique in the fact that if, um, you know, we really don't go ahead and replace valve stem seals when we're doing a, doing a head service job. And that's, that's for one really, you know, important reason. And the reason being is that if you... Uh, we all, we do do the valve stem seals, but that's only when we do like a complete valve job. So why we don't replace the valve stem seals when we're just doing the head service? You, we would always do that on and on really maybe you know something else, but and I don't even know if I'd want to do it on something else. But we don't do it because if you pull the valves out, you know you could even mark the valves or whatever. But you know you can pull the valves out and replace those seals, you have to, you know, you have to, the valve's gonna come out and it's gonna turn. Now it's gonna turn left or right or whatever. It's not gonna be where it was when, you know, before it was taken out. So so there are some sealing issues if, if you decide to do that. So we don't really recommend doing that. They, you know, they don't really have a problem. Never had any issues with a, a Subaru that had some really crazy valve stem seal leak and it's, you know, it's blowing out smoke early in the morning and everything else like that. So, But if we notice that's happening, you know, before, then obviously, you know, we'll recommend a valve job or, or whatever. But So saying that um so after that we we go through and you know do all the he said we do all the cam seals and then we go and do the oil pump seal that's pretty important because you know to get to that thing is kind of a pain and it takes a lot of time to do you gotta pull all the timing down and everything else like that and you know it's kind of a pain in the butt but 
do that, and then we'll obviously replace the spark plugs with NGK Iridium 9s. That's the only thing you should be using, unless it's like an older Subaru. Um, and then obviously, of course, always do the, you know, the water pump, the timing belt, all the component kits, the hydraulic tensioner for sure. You know, if you have to, you can skip the water pump, but it's always better just to, you know, be safe and sorry or replace that water pump. And, um, yeah. So we've resealed the whole thing. You know, I know you can get felt broke kits and everything. We used to use those, you know, when we first started doing the Subaru thing, and we've stopped that now because there are some issues and there's some fitment issues as well so I really do not recommend that the only seals and gaskets that I recommend for Subaru is the OEM Subaru gaskets and another thing is that you need to request when you go get your gaskets you need to request that you get the turbo gaskets because the turbo gaskets from the WRX and STIs and the Legacy XTs or whatever Anything that has a turbo on it, that gasket, that cylinder head gasket, will fit on the single overhead cams. But, the single overhead cam gaskets won't fit on a, you know, dual overhead cam. So, but the thing is, why we do that, why do we do that? You know, we do that because the, the turbos, the 2.0s and the 2.5s and you know, those turbo engines, they really do not have any issues with head gaskets. I've, I haven't really seen a whole lot unless it was really abused, you know. I mean, you see a few trickle in here and there, but no, nah, not not nearly as many as the single overhead cams. The single overhead cams, oh my goodness. We do so many of those per year, it's not even funny. These fucking assholes over here. Oh, sorry, my language. You know, it's just hitting me. Uh, now where was I? Oh man, that's one. Oh yeah, so the the uh, the turbos you don't really have any. Yeah, you have a few here and there that have issues, but nothing is nearly as bad as the single over cams. Those things are always leaking, but so we just take those and put them on the single overhead cams, and we're good to go, rock and roll. You won't have a, you won't have another problem. You won't. I'm telling you, as long as you you know do what I say, mill those heads, and you know clean that clean the deck up on the the block real nice. Because you got, obviously can't machine that. I mean, we always machine that when we do our overhauls because obviously it's stripped down to nothing, but you can't do that when you're doing a head service. You can just clean it up with the flat carbide blade, works the best. And um, you know, there you go. So, we do that. And, um, and yeah. So, another important step to do, oh, don't ask me why they don't put those turbo gaskets on the cylinder heads, or on the single overhead cams, you know, I have no idea why. The only reason why I see that they wouldn't put those, you know, the ones that are on the turbo over to the single overhead cam, right off the bat, you know, from the factory, is because Subaru wants their service department to be, you know, to be busy, to actually be doing something, because, I mean, there is a lot, a lot of head gasket failures, so I think it's just a, a tactic to make, uh, you know, to have the Subaru dealership, you know, have some extra work, because there's no, there's no issues with compression or anything or, or detonation or anything else like that. The Subaru turbo gasket's a little bit thicker anyways. So when you when you take the metal off the head on the single overhead cam, you know, you, and you put that turbo gasket on, you're even you're making up the difference right there, anyways. So it's not like you're you know you're using the same one and now you're down a little bit with increased compression. 
and you could potentially have a knock issue and you'd have to do some knock correction or kind of get it tuned or, you know use a premium fuel to get rid of that knock but you know there's there's no issue there so I don't know but you know after all that we'll uh what else do we do not that that um, I was obviously replace the thermostat and then, oh, we really like to clean those intake intake up really nice. And, uh, you know, the intake runners and everything. And then I really stress to clean out that throttle body. Clean that stuff up. That clean, a clean throttle body is going to make a nice idling, nice running car. So I really highly recommend doing that. Um, now another thing that we do what Subaru will not do and I don't even think anybody else would do, we're probably the only person that, uh, the only shop that does this, but after we're done doing all the, you know, the cylinder head gasket job and everything we will program, we'll reprogram your vehicle with all the latest updates that Subaru has, because the EPA is always, you know, at at the uh, manufacturer's neck to come out with something that's going to be a little bit more efficient or or basically just has to do with you know efficiency but you know Subaru also has periodic updates to make things work better you know because obviously they're when they leave from the uh, you know from the from the programmers you know you always have some bugs in anything I don't care if it's a video game or if it's a computer program or if it's a you know, computer program for a car. You know, there are always the little glitches or bugs or whatever, the things that pop up and, and have issues. And so they are constantly updating their programming for these vehicles. And and so that's what we do. We update them to the latest firmware, software, and we do that for the engines. And as long as that we're in there, uh, and it doesn't take that much time. We always do the, you know, the transmission uh, control modules that has them, and um, whatever else that we see that needs to be updated. So, anyways, that's all I got for you. Just wanted to talk about the, the head gaskets a little bit. I don't think I left anything extremely important out, but it's kind of the the basic step. And like I said, this is just something I had on my mind. I'm just driving around, so, and I haven't done a video in a little while. I know a lot of, uh, a lot of people want to see me do, you know, finish that part on my rebuild that, uh, that, which one is it? It's the installing wrist pins or it's the, it's the engine rebuild that I did in my my new shop I have one on the older shop that's not the greatest the second one that I did is still you know is in a low lit shop so I got better lighting and everything and I'm not the greatest speaker or teacher or anything but I you know you gotta work with what you got so um, but I know you guys want to have a new you know an updated video because I don't have the installation of the cylinder heads they don't have you know doing the cam plates or anything else like that which is really important yeah I really have to torque them in sequence and and do it right um, you know and I don't and I don't have that on there which I should so I'm gonna work on that here in the next you know month or so to see if I see if I can do that I've been really busy at our shop we're getting really well known out here and because all we do is a complete thorough job when we, when we do our jobs but um, I'll work on that and maybe I can work on having another you know doing another video on a short block where you know the the area is lit up and I have the camera on a, on a better stand maybe I'll have somebody recording me instead of me just trying to deal with all myself sometimes it gets a little bit too much to juggle you know keeping you know keeping everything right with the thing that you're working on 
and then trying to explain stuff on top of that and then you're trying to do the camera it gets a little bit of complicated and everybody on my other videos said oh this is just a a bad you know video or i don't explain things i'm not an explainer anyways but uh, like i said i'm doing it with what i got and besides that it is a lot to keep track of all that stuff together you know doing you know doing the camera thing explaining everything and then you know doing your job all at the same time so and then answering the phone too if you got some so but anyways i'll work on that but uh yeah so thank you so much for watching this video and again my name is ben Sorensen with Sorensen automotive and savage my wife is alexia Sorensen. she also works with me rebuilds these engines and, and does a lot of stuff without her i wouldn't wouldn't be where we're at or anything else like that so god bless her and i hope she stays with me to put up my craps some more years but um anyways come join me for another video again this is you know ben with Sorensen automotive in savage minnesota and we specialize in, in subaru repair and engine rebuilding and doing you know all the brakes and ball joints and whatever you have on there right? there's nothing that we really don't do on them so so that's all i got for you thanks guys